all right guys so in this section we are going to be remaking pac-man so this is what i was talking about originally where you know we'll actually remake a game so let's go ahead and launch unreal 5.4.4 of course this course section has been updated to use the newer version of the engine I've launched the engine and let's just head into the game section and create a blank project. Uh, let's just call it Pac-Man RTX. You could name it whatever you want. We are going to choose C++ but mostly we'll be working with Blueprint itself. Pac-Man is not really a game where you'd have lots of computation or anything. I'll choose the blank template but later on we are going to import the third person. Now some of you may think that you'd require the top down template. But we'll be setting up the camera and stuff from scratch rather than using the template. So let's go ahead and create it. So the project has loaded up and the first thing that I usually like to do is head into window and just set it to the UE4 classic layout. It's kind of annoying to keep pulling the content drawer again and again. Alright, so let's create a new level. So as usual, I'll create a maps folder. Now the thing about the maps folder is if you do create anything in the maps folder you don't have to manually specify it while packaging the game. So generally it's recommended under your content folder you have a folder called maps and you work inside that. You can work in other directories but this is generally recommended. So now I'll just create a new level and I'll just call it game level. Doesn't have to be anything specific. And head into your project settings. Or here you can change the default map which you load into. So you can change it to game level. If you click on the search icon, it's going to select it in your content browser. So if I head back, you see that it's selected. Now what I can do is I can use this arrow icon to use the selected asset. So now the editor is going to start with this game level. And the default map of the game itself is going to be game level. Actually, if I head in and launch the game, so if I go to this place, right click and if I launch the game, you'd see that you'll head into a blank level rather than the default one. So as you see, we are inside a blank level. So now what we can do is we can go ahead and start working on the game. First up is the level setup. So we'll add a directional light obviously. So we'll need a directional light. We'll need a skylight. So this is to illuminate the atmosphere and we actually need an atmosphere as well. And you may notice that it's black in the lower half. You can mitigate that by using an exponential height fog. So now this is going to allow for scattering of the light and now this looks a lot more realistic. Honestly though, I don't really think we require, uh, you know, sky and stuff since we are remaking Pac-Man. We can probably use our own custom lighting. But just until we set up the level, we are going to have this as a temporary arrangement. Of course, you can be creative about it and do it however you like. First things first, I need some sort of uh, geometry. So I need a player model for reference. So I can head into add feature or content pack and here you'll find all the templates which were available in the initial menu. So I'll add the blueprint third person template so that I can get access to this character. Of course, we'll code our own character. I'm just using this as a size reference for now. So I'll add this to the project. It should take a quick second and it should add it. So what I can do is I can just drag this over. And if I head into my top view, so you see, I get a reference for the scale. Now I can head into the modeling menu, go to create and create a box. 